Hey guys and welcome to August Favorites. I'm so happy and excited to film this video because I have some amazing new discoveries and I have some products that I just rediscovered and I'm going to be sharing everything with you. Today I decided to film in natural light because it's a beautiful day and these are the last days of summer. So I decided that I want to take full advantage of the natural light. So all, everything that you're going to see today is going to be natural light and we are very close to the window. I have one soft box that is far away, it is in this direction, but this is just to balance the lighting and I've done a lot of tests before filming this video so that um, I can make sure that you're getting the best possible lighting and you're seeing the products just as they are in real life. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I have some skincare that I wanted to share with you and this month has been um, quite challenging for me because I had some very unpleasant eye irritation. Um, the first product that I want to share with you is um, recent repurchase and this is the Murat sunscreen. This is my all-time favorite sunscreen. I know it's on the pricey side but this one protects from blue, blue light, protects from UVA, UVB and it's really the very very best sunscreen that I've ever used I think. I absolutely love it because it's mineral but at the same time it doesn't leave a white cast. I'm going to show you the consistency now. So it does have a very light tint if you take a closer look you're going to see. Um, so it does have a very very light slightly peachy tint which I think is going to blend in all skin tones. Now I have seen this one on a very dark very tan skin tone and it works beautifully. So you can see that when I blend it it's going to disappear and in a couple of minutes it's completely going to disappear. So this is how it looks on my hand. Now keep in mind that I have been on vacation and that's why I am a shade darker than my usual coloring. So I am a shade darker. Keep that in mind when you see the swatches today. Next, because of my irritation, my skincare has been so minimalistic like never before because I, I just feel irritated. My eyes keep being itchy all the time and it looks like there is no solution for that. But anyways, so the only moisturizer that I have been using is the Sisley Velvet Nourishing Cream. Just because I just uh, don't have the patience to do a proper skincare routine. And this one is the only one that I have been using. It's a very thick cream. Now Sisley are advertising this cream for dry skin, but I think it's suitable for all skin types, except if you are very oily. And this is actually a very thick cream and the scent is very relaxing. So this is something that really attracts me to this cream. It's also a very good moisturizer. It doesn't make the skin oily, but it makes it very soft, velvety smooth. So it's it literally feels like velvet. Now moving on to an old product that I actually didn't like. I used not to like, but now... I changed my mind and I started using this powder from Chanel a lot. Now this powder has been reformulated I think um, six or seven months ago and I did a review. I said that it's not the same as the old one and it is changed a, changed a little bit. Back then I didn't like the reformulation but now I'm loving this powder because actually the way I use it is I just use my sunscreen and then use this powder on top. So this powder is a little bit thicker than the Givenchy or the Sisley loose powders. Uh, it does add a little bit of coverage. So that's why I'm using it literally on top of my sunscreen and it works. Great, it works really nice. I don't know why I didn't like it in the first place, probably because I was so used to using the Givenchy Prisma Libre, which is completely translucent and doesn't it doesn't add any coverage. This one does add a little bit of coverage and I'm enjoying it so much right now. So I'm wearing the shade, I'm gonna tell you now. Yes, I have it in the shade 20 and it matches my skin tone so well. And then another powder that I have been enjoying a lot, these are the Guerlain Meteorites Pearls. And these are just the standard pearls in Claire. 
I have been enjoying this one a lot just to add a little bit of luminosity to my face. I, I really love these and this this is an old favorite actually. I always keep coming back to this one. And now moving on to a face palette that I love and I have been using it every single day. Now this is the new Charlotte Tilbury Nude Gasm face palette and I am loving this face palette a lot. I have been using it a lot. It doesn't look like I have been using it just because the powders are very firmly pressed and they're almost like that gelée formula. They're very firmly pressed. So even though I'm using it a lot, it doesn't look like it's very used. You can see color here is cool toned bronzer, which is very rare to find. And I really love them. I love them both because both a lean a little bit on the cooler side. So I have a full review of this palette. So in case you're interested, you can go ahead and watch my full review. So here are swatches of the colors and the peachy shade works as a beautiful blush on my skin. Then another favorite is the new Tone for the blush. And this one is in number one brazen rose. And this is the color. So this one is my favorite just because it looks very, very natural on my skin. Now these are the new Tom Ford shade and Illuminate bronzers and I have a review of them. I have five of the new shades and I showed you swatches in natural light. I showed you arm swatches and cheek swatches. This one is my favorite shade. Now these retail for 90 US dollars each. So here it depends entirely on you and your budget. Apparently we all come from different backgrounds we all come we all have different budgets and some people like to buy more makeup some people just like to invest in um, one piece for example they like to keep one blush in their makeup collection but to have a really nice good exceptional blush so here it's all up to you whether you're going to purchase this one or not I didn't comment on the price when I was reviewing this blushes but I keep saying to you all the time that you should be very wise with with purchases and apparently as someone who has a youtube channel i am buying a lot of products and i do my best to show you swatches and close-ups in natural light and the reason why i'm showing you always swatches and close-ups in natural light is so that you can make an informed decision for yourself if a product is right for you or not now 90 US dollars is very expensive, but we have seen an, incre an increase of a lot of prices lately. A lot of prices have increased also of Chanel fashion and Chanel makeup. And we have seen overall increase of prices in the past year of all beauty products, of all luxury beauty products. Now this is very, very unfortunate. So be wise and be careful and take into consideration the situation of your family. Now I absolutely love this product because it blends so beautifully. So you can see the swatches here and it's almost invisible because it shows on my face. The blush has a very powdery consistency and you can see it in my video. You can see when I did swatches on my face. Now this is my perfect blush shade. Now would I purchase this one if I didn't have a YouTube channel? Absolutely yes. I love the consistency. I love how it looks on my cheeks. It's a very extraordinary color that I don't have in my collection. Next I wanted to show you two fragrances and actually I'm going to start with the one that I'm so excited about. This is Whispers of Seduction and it's by House of Siage. So this fragrance is still not available for purchase. It's going to be launched on September. 17th but I was allowed to share this fragrance in advance with you before the launch and I have been testing this fragrance for the past week. I just wanted to share this with you because it's a fragrance that I truly love. So I have a full review of this fragrance on my YouTube channel. I'm going to have a link to this video so please go ahead and check out this video because I felt very honored to be able to share this fragrance in advance with you. It's a very seductive and extraordinary blend of caramelized oud, candied apple, marshmallow, it has a touch of orange and it has also vanilla orchid. It's very seductive and it's a very hard to explain fragrance. It's, so this is going to be the last addition to the Whispers in the Garden Noir collection by House of Siash and I was so excited about this fragrance that I had to email the brand actually to congratulate them. They sent me this fragrance in PR and immediately after trying it I had to email them, I had to tell them that that I'm, 
um, I'm in love with this fragrance because it is so extraordinary and it's truly a fragrance that I would wear day and night and I have been enjoying this scent so much. Every time when I spray it, I literally have to smell my hand all the time and it, it just makes me feel so confident and makes me feel so happy. If you can, definitely get your hands on this fragrance. Of course, once again, if you can, if your budget allows it. But this is definitely a fragrance that I wanted to recommend because I have been loving this fragrance. And then I have another recommendation, again from House of Siage, that I recently tried and this is whispers of truth noir so a lot of you have been teasing me with this fragrance because you guys know how much i love house of siash and i haven't tried this fragrance and a lot of you have been teasing me with this fragrance saying that this is a fragrance that i would love and i absolutely love it because i love the original whispers of truth fragrance but this one is i would say more seductive it has a leather note. So this fragrance definitely has the DNA of Whispers of Truth. So I know that a lot of you are loving Whispers of Truth. And if you love Whispers of Truth, you definitely have to try this one because it is just a little bit more seductive. So these two are my favorites from the Whispers in the Garden Noir collection. These two are definitely my favorites. And now moving on to the Chantecaille Fall Makeup Collection, we have the Tiger and the Leopard. And these two eyeshadows, I have been loving them and I was not able to wear them as much as I wanted just because of my eye irritation, but I'm really, really loving these colors and they're just so pretty. You can see how they look on my eyes if you go to watch my review of this collection. Again, these are quite expensive, you guys. These are very much on the pricey side, so you have to decide whether these are going to be suitable for you or not. But I have been loving them. Okay, then moving on to another eyeshadow palette that I was using a lot right before my eye irritation started. And this is the well-known Nude Dip from Tom Ford. This is just um, the perfect nude eyeshadow palette. I love these colors so much and it's one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. I think I love this palette as much as I love Tissé Rivoli by Chanel. These are probably two of my all-time favorites. I think that the colors, these colors in particular, I think that they would suit anyone. So these are the colors and let's go ahead and swatch here. They can be used wet and dry, but I never find the need to use them wet. I always use them dry and they're so lovely. Then also I have the stick highlighter from Westman Atelier, which I have been having this um, stick highlighter for a very long time, but now I started using it again. I usually don't go for um, this kind of stick highlighters. So you can see how it looks. Apparently I applied too much, but just so that you are able to see. So it is very, it looks very beautiful on pale skin. I'm not sure how this is going to look on deeper skin tones. Oops, I actually applied I actually applied this highlighter on top of the sunscreen only, so I applied the sunscreen here. So let's go ahead and swatch this right here so that you can see how it looks. Okay, here we go. So you can probably see now how it looks. So this one is very similar to the stick highlighter from Chanel, but it does have something like a purplish hue to it. It has a pinkish slash purplish hue, which works beautiful on very pale, very fair skin. Next, I wanted to share with you this highlighting duo from Tom Ford. I have been loving this one. This is actually one of my all time favorites. And I'm going to show you swatches right here. I like using these colors on my eyes as well as on my face. And even though they might look a little bit dark for me, they actually look beautiful on my face. I use this shade almost like um, on top of my blush, just to add some color and to add that lovely summer glow. So this is one of my favorite summer palettes. I use it on my eyes, I use it on my face. And then I have a few lip products that I wanted to show you. So a lot of you have been asking me about this lipstick and what I was wearing in one of my recent videos. I was wearing this lipstick and I wanted to show it to you. So this is from the Disney collection from the House of Siage. 
and it's the nude color from the Disney collection. So this is playful nude and it's my perfect nude color. A lot of you have been asking me about this color and that's why I thought I'm going to share it with you. So it's this one right here and it is my perfect nude color. And then the other colors are the Shantikai color. So it's this beautiful orange color and you can see how much color it has. This is swatched only once. It does have a almost like a full coverage and this is from the Lip Shakes from Shantikai. And I was surprised actually that it's, it's not sheer. If you're familiar with the Shantikai Lip Shakes, they are usually quite sheer, but this one is not. This one is almost like a full coverage color. And then my two other favorites that I have been using non-stop. I have one of the Lip Lux from Chanel and then I have one of the Shantikai Le Mat Stilo. And I have been using these two non-stop. So they are beautiful nude colors. I wanted to show you swatches. So this is Chanel and this is Shantikai. Now the Shantikai is a velvet matte stylo and actually I like to use it on top of a lip balm or on top of the Guerlain um, lipstick in my Kiss Glow. It's a little bit dirty, excuse that, but it's because I have been using it so much. So let's go ahead and swatch it here as well. So this one is a velvet matte color. So if you have dry lips, you'll have to use it probably like I use it on top of lip balm. Otherwise it is going to feel a little bit dry, but in general, it's very velvety. It feels very velvety on the lips. And if you have normal lips, you can just use it on its own, but it's such a beautiful color. I love it. And I think this is my most used nude color for summer. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to support my channel, please consider using the affiliate links in the description box. It helps so much and I'm so grateful when you use them. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, bye.